everyone, it's Michelle here back continuing the moisture retention series and specifically focusing on how the pH of your products can affect your hair and its moisture levels. A substance pH is measured on a scale of 0 to 14 with hair falling at about 5, 4.5, 5.5. 7 is neutral on the scale. So what I'm going to do today is I have some litmus strips to check the pH of some of the products that I newly acquired and I'm using. Now, I haven't used the 10 in 1 Renewal System yet by Shea Moisture. I just got this in the mail not too long ago, so this will be interesting to, to test this one out. I have been using Camille Rose Naturals Coconut Water Penetrating Hair Treatment, and I love this product, so I'm really interested to see what the pH level of this will be. I've also been using Karen's Body Beautiful Super Duper Hydrating Hair Cream. So I'm interested in testing that. Now before I continue, let me say that when I was relaxed, I did not know anything about pH, nor did I care. But since becoming natural, I really can appreciate the importance of testing the pH of your products. That's not to say I test every single product, but I do test some of my products and some of them are staples so I don't really need to test them. Hoping that the manufacturer does not change the formula, but that's another story. Now if you think about it, when we use hair products on our hair, if we don't know what the pH is, it could be acidic, it could be alkaline. If it's alkaline, that's no good for our hair because it could disturb our moisture balance as well as our protein balance. We need to keep our hair in an acidic range that's as close as possible to our natural pH. Water typically has a neutral pH of about 7. So when you wash your hair, technically it's out of balance when it's washed. So it's really important to use a leave-in conditioner, deep conditioners, conditioners, as well as your styling products in, conjun in conjunction with the conditioners in a pH level that is close to your hair's natural pH level, if that makes any sense whatsoever. I feel like I'm saying pH a lot, but I think you get my point. With the litmus strips that I purchased from a local chemist, they look like this. They come with a color coding system as well as with what the pH levels stand for. So I'm gonna start with the Karen's Body Beautiful and I'm going to put in an already cut litmus strip and I'm gonna let that really go inside of there and sit for a while. Same thing with the Camille Rose Naturals Coconut Water. I'm going to let that go really deep. The 10 in 1 renewal system. Brand new, brand spanking new. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to put that litmus strip in. Now I'm going to let these sit for about five minutes and I will be back with the results. Okay, so we're back to take a look at how each of these products has tested on the litmus strip. Starting with the Karen's Body Beautiful, I'm going to wipe off some of the uh, residue of the product. And as you can see here, comparing this on the uh, chart, this is testing at about a five. So, yay for Karen's Body Beautiful. Completely pH balanced for our hair. Moving right along to Coconut Water by Camille Rose Naturals. This product, let's wipe some of this residue off. is testing somewhere between the four and the five. It's sort of like in the middle. So about 4.5. So yay for Camille Rose Naturals. This one has tested very close to our hair's natural pH as well. Now, 
Shea Moisture's 10-in-1 Renewal System Hair Mask. How did they fare? Let's see. Taking some of this excess off. Just wipe it off. Look her hair. It's tested at about five very also very close to our hair's natural pH so as you can see some of our beloved product brands are testing really well on the pH and thumbs up for that because your girl was not about to give them up pH or not but this was just a wonderful exercise to try try testing some of your products the litmus strips don't cost that much and it'll be interesting to know and it's you know it's good to be informed my hair is nice and braided up I'm keeping this protective style three weeks minimum so I won't be doing a lot of hair styling or hair sort of like exhibition type videos but I do have more in store so stay tuned and thank you for watching thank you for all of my new subscribers I never want to neglect to say thank you because it is really much appreciated that you give me your time to watch my videos if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button girl what you waiting for all right thank you and have a blessed day